All right, so here's an example from your Delta Math on day three homework, okay? And it's asking you to find the area between negative one to six. Okay, so if you're going from negative one to six, you're trying to find from here all the way to six. It's basically going to look like the area underneath the curve. Negative 1 is where this touches the x-axis. You with me? So to find this, we can separate it into three different areas that are like sectioned off, if you will, and they are the following. From negative 1 to 1, that's a 1 over here, right? Lexi? Okay. So from negative 1 to 1, the next one is from 1, do you know what that x-axis is? Two. 2. And then the last one will be from 2 to 6. Okay. So this second one's pretty easy because it's just saying find the area of a triangle that has a height of 2 and a base of 1. So one half times base times height is that area for the second triangle. So we'll say the second triangle equals that area. Okay, so that's a positive one. Why is it positive, guys? This is big as far as what we're going to see today. Because it's above the x-axis. 200 points if you can tell me something else that's important. Yes? Oh, because you're reading it left to right. Ah, oh, that's right. You're right. If you read left to right and it's above the x-axis, it's positive. But if it's above the x-axis and it gives you an integral right to left, it's opposite. It's negative. You with me? And that's huge today. All right. So let's do the third one. The third area is 1 half times the base of 4 times the height of 8. So what's the answer? negative 16 because it's below the x-axis. And last but not least, this green area is a little bit tricky. It's basically a circle that's being subtracted out from a square. You with me? So if I looked at it like, or even a rectangle, if I looked at it this as a rectangle, this entire rectangle would have a base of 4 and a height of 2. So 4 times 2, that entire rectangle is this. And if I divide it in half, I'm saying just this rectangle is what? 4. And now I'm trying to get 1 quarter of a circle out. You with me? Do you see it? So 1 quarter of pi r squared is going to be pulled out. What's the radius? 2. So 1 fourth of 2 squared is pi. So I'm pulling pi out from 4. So this green area is 4 minus pi. Does that make sense? Okay. So I don't know why I did that. This is green. Um, so then we'll just add this with this with this and that would be my answer. Okay. Now let's do notation that doesn't necessarily have a picture. Yeah. Um, that doesn't necessarily have a picture that you need to interpret how to work out. Okay. For instance, there are those weird ones where they're asking you to find something given certain information. For instance, we have one here that is asking us to find. Oops. From 5 to negative 7 of f of x minus 2 in respect to x when given this criteria. 5 to 9 is negative 2. 
negative 7 to 9 is 4. Okay, here we go. First order of business is the things that are given, I would kind of plot out and say, this first one is same from 5 to 9. So from 5 to 9, this area is a negative 2. Okay? So if I were to kind of like draw some visual representation, I could show that below the x-axis, between 5 and 9, it's a negative 2. And then over here, it says from negative 7 all the way to 9. So from here all the way over here, my total answer is going to be 4. Does that make sense? So if my total answer is a positive 4, intuitively, for the whole thing, what could you say is kind of happening between here and here? Six. It's got to be 6. It's got to be a positive 6 because a positive 6 displacement added with a negative 2 displacement will ultimately result in a full positive displacement of 4. Okay? So, if we're looking for this, chances are we're going to use these small little pieces. This is big of what we're doing today as well, but further on, is we're going to look at what would this equal as far as if I were to rewrite it. How do you read this? Left to right or right to left? Right to left. Right to left. And I promise you, right now, you don't want to read right to left. Since when do we ever read books right to left? Since kindergarten, we've been reading left to right. So let's keep it that way, okay? So my suggestion to you is, especially with graphical representation problems, my suggestion is you should change it, okay? So one of the rules that we have, we're going to flip this. Okay, remember that? So when we flip this, we're going to say, from low to high, a.k.a. left to right. But now we have to account for it since we changed it with a negative. Well, that was one of the integration laws. So we have f of x minus 2 is still the same, and it's in respect to x. Questions? Okay, so now the integral of the difference is equal to the difference of the integrals. So I'm going to split this up, and there's two ways you can do this. You can split it up like this, and then minus from negative 7 to 5 of 2. But if you do it like this, chances are you might make a mistake that I just made. Can you find the mistake? The negative, the negative needs to either be like this, or distribute and make that a plus. Do you understand? I probably would look at this and go ahead and distribute it and it would look like that. Because it's the negative of all of this thing right here. Okay? So now let's go ahead and ask ourselves do we see any of these pieces over there? We don't right now, but they're both low to high. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so negative 7 to 5 in our little drawing, we did see it, right? We created it. So we know that this is equal to what? 6. But there's a negative out in front. Negative mistakes are huge in this unit, okay? They're back. From negative 7 to 5. You would have to draw this as a picture. Okay, here we go. What's f of x? 2. So y equals 2. Specifically from negative 7 all the way to 5. What's the base of this rectangle? 12. Times the height of 2. So this, bless you, is 24. So the answer would be what? Do you all see that? Any questions? Do you need another one of those? If not, we will move on to the new stuff. Okay, so let's move on to the new stuff.